Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie. If you are new here and welcome to my very first Halloween look for 2022. I haven't named this series yet in my time, so you know, it's a, it's a work in progress, but I wanted to do some makeup looks this year that are like staples, like just either makeup looks that I have loved doing in the past or that I've always wanted to do, but that are a little bit more makeup focused that you can do maybe in a shorter amount of time. Maybe a makeup look that um, is pretty, is, is a little bit more common, but is something that you can maybe pull together a little bit last minute. So maybe we'll call this like last minute Halloween makeup looks. I don't, I don't fucking know. Either way, in today's video, I am going to be doing Poison Ivy. I have literally always wanted to do a Poison Ivy makeup look or like a Poison Ivy Halloween costume. I almost always have red hair, so it's always been something that I've wanted to do, but I've never actually done it. So I figured this year, while my hair is bright, bright, bright red, I'm gonna finally do Poison Ivy. So if you're interested in hanging out and doing a Poison Ivy makeup look with me, then just keep on watching. So obviously there are a ton of different media sources that you could take inspiration from for Poison Ivy. You have the live action Uma Thurman version, you have all the different cartoons. So I kind of joined them together and just kind of made a fun little idea for myself. So. I'm gonna start out with the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint. This is in the shade Smoke Signal and it's like a dark, dark, dark green. And I'm gonna start out by just kind of carving out what's going to be a little bit of a smoky liner. So I'm just gonna take an angled liner brush that I have dipped into the end. I'm not being super precise with this. I'm just kind of getting the product on because we're gonna blend everything out with eyeshadow anyway. And then next up, I'm literally, I just grabbed all, like not all, but a good chunk of my just like different green eyeshadows. So use whatever you have, honestly. I'm gonna use uh, the Juvia's Place Culture Palette and I'm gonna go in to the dark green shade right here and I'm gonna use that to kind of, cause this blends out a little bit more tealy blue. So I'm gonna start out by just covering it so it's more green, but also, um, just start working on smudging it a little bit. I'm not too worried about the outer point because I'll sharpen that up once I'm done with my eyeshadow. Alright, next up I'm gonna jump over to the Beauty Bay Brights 2.0 palettes. And I'm gonna go into the this green shade right here, Jungle, and just keep working on the little blend. Again, I'm not being super precise about this either. I'm just really smoking it out. Then next up on the same brush, I'm gonna go into the BH uh, Absinthe palette and I'm gonna go into this top shade, Trippy. And then last but not least for now, I'm gonna go back into the culture palette and I'm gonna go into this top shade up here and just kind of, I don't know, put that wherever feels right, honestly. Mm -hmm. 
all right, I'm gonna go clean up underneath my eyes and sharpen up this little wing and put on my base. I would recommend if you're wearing this for like a Halloween night out, put on your longest lasting base. But I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back to continue working on this look. Okay, got my foundation on and I set down a couple spots with powder. So I'm gonna start out with cream bronzer and I'm gonna use the NARS cream bronzer in the shade Laguna 2. And then for cream bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Bahamas. All right, next up for powder blush, I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Bellini Blush Palette. And I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade, Georgia Peach. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the BH Belgian Waffle Palette, and I'm gonna use the middle shade, Batter. And for blush topper, I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Highlight in the shade Joy. And for highlight, I'm just gonna use the BH Belgian Waffle Palette and I'm gonna go in to the first shade, Powdered Sugar. All right, zoomed you guys back in so we can finish up the eyes. I'm gonna take the two brushes that I used earlier and I'm actually not gonna pick up any more product. And I'm just gonna connect my under eyes to the wing. Not picking up more product just helps kind of ensure that you don't get fallout on to, uh, you know, your otherwise already done face. But if you find that maybe by your second eye you need just like a little bit more, then, you know, just dip it in, but just like be very gentle. Okay, now if you want a more like glam style, you could actually stop here, do the red lips. If you wanna do the red brows, you can, um, and just kind of move on to, you know, finishing up the makeup look. I am gonna go a slightly different route and I'm gonna put up like some vines and stuff on my eyes. So I am gonna go back in with that matte fluid eye paint from About Face in Smoke Signal. I do have a black pulled out as well, just in case I decide that I want it, but I don't know quite yet. Um, and I'm gonna take a really tiny, tiny, tiny little, this is technically actually a paintbrush, but I use it for liner and like detail liner work. Anyways, um, I'm gonna dip the very tip of that in. And I'm not gonna be super like, crazy precise with this because it their vines like they don't need to be I don't know why I just tapped that off like it was powder So basically, I'm just kind of starting out lines and where, honestly, where it kind of smudges or cracks or breaks is where I'm letting the vines kind of, you know, fall. Alright, 
So that is one eye. You could take it this kind of a little bit more like sharp and almost creepy is not necessarily the right word, but kind of just like sharp and you know, like angular route, or you could go the really curly fine route, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna go do the other eye off of camera. I'm also gonna finish up the rest of my face. I will show you guys what lipstick I use when I get back and I'll be back to show you guys the final look. I am honestly fucking obsessed with the way that this turned out. Obviously I didn't do too much to my hair and my hair is a fucking disaster but I kind of like how it's all like kind of just crazy and all over the place. Um, and I just, I'm, I fucking love the way that this turned out. I was honestly a little bit nervous about like was it going to look a little bit too Christmassy with like the red lips and the red hair and then the green eyes? But like, I think that it really, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. Um, obviously you could amp this up in a couple different ways. You could be putting, you know, some green in like your bronzer zone instead of bronzer slash blush or, you know, tons of different things that you could do instead. I didn't go with the red brows mostly because I spent my early twenties with shaved off eyebrows that were drawn back on to match whatever crazy color hair that I had at the time and I simply cannot view myself like that again. So, you know. Really quick, for my lips, I used the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Toast of New York. Um, it definitely looks in the tube, like I thought it was gonna be a little bit more brown. I did want a slightly more subdued red, so this is actually a perfect, perfect shade. I didn't want that super, super bright red, but I cannot stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. I think that it looks so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> also, one of my friends is coming over to help me edit, and I'm like, I have a Halloween makeup on, like it's fucking September, don't judge me. I am not doing a traditional 13, looks like 13, days of Halloween or whatever, however I used to name them. I'm not doing that this year. I needed to kind of, I, ne I needed to kind of tone it down a little bit for a couple different reasons, but um, also doesn't help that it's like quite literally September 20th and I'm filming the first look for Halloween, so, or for October, so I wouldn't have gotten it all done anyway. So I'm kind of glad that I toned it down. Anyways, um, in my next video, I'm gonna be doing a shot my stash and I'm gonna kind of explain why it is that I'm not doing a traditional 13 looks of Halloween, but every single Tuesday this month, I will have a Halloween makeup look for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe, comment down below and let me know who your favorite Batman character is. I would love to know. I'm kind of a toss up between Harley and Poison Ivy, but like, I don't know. Now I'm kind of sad that I like don't ever do anything on actual Halloween because like, it's already like the hair's there, you know? The makeup's there. Anyways, please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!